legs want to drop when I'm not. Well, you're, you are obviously being severely over-medicated right now. I know. And you need to be able to stand up for yourself and advocate yourself. i tell you what, since you I can do it, but you have to do it too. I will. Okay? And, ooh, he's a tough one. Yeah? Yeah. I like a monster. <laughs> No, you know, it's funny. I, I had said over and over and over again, if you, if you Google my name with Tarnation, I said a million gazillion times, I would never, ever do this again. I had no desire to ever do it again. And lo and behold, seven years later, I'm, I'm doing it again. And I, I felt a need to retread a little bit of Tarnation. I, I, for this new film, Walk Away, Renee, a lot of it is, there's aspects of Tarnation that are sort of re-paraphrased. Um, to sort of create a backstory and raise stakes for another story that's also happening uh, in the film. Um, and that other story um, is, is it, it's an, uh, it exemplifies an inner sort of d a dynamic b between my mother and I, character-wise, that, that had to be negated. That wasn't, you know, we, for running time constraints for Tarnation, we weren't able to do it because Tarnation was so frenetic and there was so much going on and there was so much information coming out at like machine gun style uh, speed that there, there wasn't room for this aspect of the film which was you know and for Walk Away Renee it's a lot more verite there's a lot more um, it's more of an objective POV of my mother and I as opposed to the first person POV and uh, it's quite different although it is a, it is a bit of a kissing cousin to Tarnation I think in some Ways. Earlier, I was saying it was a, uh, it was an equal and not a sequel, but now I want to sort of retract that. I, I don't even know what it is. It's sort of a it's it's an extension. It's an it's a continuum of a dialogue of Tarnation. It's a continuate. It's not a sequel though. I'm really tired. I know. You can get some rest. Look at that little window that was put there on the side of the garage. Yeah, I was here the day they put that in. It, it looks like there's a window that you're looking oh, through no. that like it could be like another dimension or something. For me, Walk Away Renee was a real exercise uh, in taking documentary and um, uh, segueing it into fiction. And uh, I think it's a good sort of transitional film out of making documentary films. I, I don't think I'm going to be very interested in making any more documentaries after this. Um, I'm, but I am very interested in uh, making fictitious films that may feel like documentaries. So, yeah, you know. Always. It's always a therapy for me. It's, uh, um, there's, always, there's always a sense of urgency to anything that I'm doing, I think, in terms of cinema. And, um, you know, it took me a while to, to, <laughs> to make another film simply because I would, my life circumstance wasn't enabling me to do it. After Tarnation, I had become this sort of perpetual caretaker of my family because there wasn't anybody available to do it. And I've always been an advocate of not wanting to see people institutionalized, whether it be a nursing home or um, a hospital. And uh, I've always been kind of like doing this, a bit of a balancing act between my mother and my, grand, my late grandfather and, and now my son. So it's, you know. Do you know how old he is? 15. Mm-hmm, isn't that crazy? It goes by like that. Yeah, I know, it does. It goes by so fast. Mm -hmm. Years go fast. <coughs> Years do go fast, especially the older you get. <clears throat> uh. Forget the past, live in the present, and look forward to the future. It's good advice. It is good advice. Mm -hmm. You want coffee? I wrote that. No, thank you. No. Not this late. She's very, very happy that there, there, there's, there's a this sort of platform of, of a way to tell her story in, in, a, in a way that she's not always able to express. She's, she's very into the idea that her story is getting out there. And I think with this particular film, it, there, there's, although we don't go 
greatly into it. Um, there is a bit of a statement on the catty wampusness of the American uh, health system, which can often be very convoluted and uh, very bureaucratic and not great. You doubt everything I say. You never believe me. Renee, how Jody Foster was not in the hospital with you. Fuck you! When I say something, I don't lie. Wait, wait, wait. I do not lie. Renee. I'm sorry I said that, but I don't lie. You're calling me a liar. I think everybody's a filmmaker. Um, you do think so? I think everybody's a filmmaker, uh, just like everybody's a writer. But I think um, to be a good filmmaker, um, the thing that's going to be the common denominator that will uh, make the other filmmakers differ from the, the maybe better filmmakers are just a, having a good story to tell. And I think it's as simple as that. We, we, are, we have now in, inherited a world where everybody can make any kind of film they want with no money. You can, you can get prosumer cameras now that um, are digital emulations of 35 millimeter films and, and that was unheard of 20 years ago. So, so yes, everybody can do it, but Did you think it's no, I don't think everybody can do it. Can <laughs>